everyone, it's me once again. Thank you for tuning into my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video review. So what we have here is a digital photo frame classic 8 by a company called Dragon Touch. We all know that Dragon Touch already produced uh, some of the previous photo frame, which looks like a square, a proper photo frame. But this time, the um, frame actually looks like an iPad, which I guess is following the trend. Um, and it actually has a bit of a bulk here in the back, I believe. And it looks quite trendy indeed. So well done for that. So basically, this is for sharing photos. It has H inch HD display and room for memories as well, internal 16 gigabytes. So you can invite friends to share as well um, and photos and footage sharing. This is what I'm really interested about because if you actually look at the pre preview image of the back, uh, there seems to be an earphone jack um, or maybe not. Um, so we'll find out soon anyway. And it's also easy to operate because it's a touch screen operated function as well. So nice package. Let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. All right, so let's unpeel this cover. Bit of a weight. Um, I like that. It means it's more premium. I would say it's my general understanding of products. Um, yeah, here it is. So is it an earphone? Yes, it is an earphone jack. SD card you can put in and USB and um, mini USB as well. Okay, and DC and for power. And um, I think this is for scrolling power on. And this is just the menu button. And that's just for the locking system to hang your photo, I presume. So slightly lighter than I thought it would be, but not a problem at all. We can forget about that. Now this is the activation two year warranty that I um, don't want to share that information. User manual, really nice package actually. And um, I presume all the cabling is in here. So let's see what's inside here. Ah, so that's the stand, I see. So that will be going here. And um, that will go there. Um, that's the power cable. So one is actually the uh, USB cable and one is for the USB power cable. And um, does it actually come with a power cord? It does. Well, you don't really need to nowadays. We've got so many power cords, but thank you very much. So um, that's pretty much it, I would say. Well done in a very nice package. Okay, so first, power your photo frame on the connected power cable which I will do now. That's powered in, focused in. So first I need to choose the Wi-Fi. So it's this one. And I need to type in the password. Ah, so um, it seems to have a sound capability somewhere. Okay, done. I think the sound is actually on the this side, that's very interesting. Or maybe it's that one, but definitely in a sound there. Our photo app, so let's install that. So on the app, I got to create a new username and password. So I'll do that and I'll see you soon. All right, so if I go to settings, there seems to be a frame ID that I need to type it on here. So I'll do that and I'll come back to you soon. All right, so it's actually asking for the acceptance. So this has been added. So to run through all the systems, I got device information, which shows the um, unique ID number, the user management. Somehow I got two username, but that's fine. PC control. It also enables the FTP server, which I'm not really familiar with anyway, but Wi-Fi as well. It's all connected to Brexit means Brexit. Album settings. So you could actually uh, set how long the slideshow will be um, and um, and etc. And also the system settings. It's quite interesting. You've got sounds here. Brilliant. You can adjust the volume, also the display for the brightness, date and time, language. You can change it to different language. Unfortunately, there isn't Korean there. Auto on and off settings as well. And you can actually um, repeat settings as well. So let's go to the main page as well. It looks really like a window uh, P 
PC kind of display, but quite kind of nice actually. So you've got videos um, that you can actually use on the internal storage or SD cards, or perhaps you could actually cost it as well. So we're gonna find out soon anyway. Does this have any function? Yeah, so it has internal storage, SD card, USB favorite, and um, you get actually connected to your smartphone. That's what it's for. The weather, uh, calendar, and alarm, and that's pretty much it. On your app, there's a function for photo. So if I were to press that, let's just take a photo of the actual unit and um, it will ask whether I should permit that. So I'll permit that. Um, and also, huh, uh, let's take some videos as well. So it will also record some videos. Now here it is, so it's recording it now. Um, so I think the length is up to 30 seconds. That's quite interesting. And uh, let's stop that and then let's approve that so basically uh, we can you can actually send a photo by um, pressing it to LJP tech and then send so it's actually sending the, the video as well so continue to send and also I could just take some uh, photos as well oh, here it is the notice actually says there's one video arrived let's actually send some of the photos that I'm actually taken from uh, this app so you can manually choose um, that one and then uh, apply and then all you need to do is uh, choose the device which is LGP tech and then send it so hopefully you get a notice saying that the photo has arrived successfully oh here it is photo has arrived so that's actually already forming part of the photo frame here but the video is not showing a quick preview obviously but if you go to the review section there's one video that I actually filmed early on so let's see how that looks like you know what that's pretty good sound is not that good but you can always plug in but the quality of the video is really good I like that and um, we could go back and let's look at some of the photos that I've taken earlier on. Um, so that's first photo. You can actually scroll by doing this, this, and that. That's very good. Also, let's say if you like a certain photo and you want to stop and you want to zoom in, you just press that one and you can pretty much zoom in. Right? And you can also move things around. Also, I don't know whether you can change the interval of how many seconds and uh, effect you can actually do at random or other different uh, effects as well. Let's go back to the other uh, effects, zoom center and all those sort of random effects you can add as well. So let's see if I could actually cast this uh, to, uh, this is actually 53 seconds. I noticed early on it was 30 seconds maximum for recording, but let's apply the 53 seconds video to the oh it's actually sending it that's very interesting check out the second video see whether that works ah <laughs> this was the one I recorded a while ago I mean the quality of the video itself is very low but um, I mean the sound So it does work and it's 53 minutes, sorry 53 seconds um, and um, that's how you can actually cast it. That's very good, I like that. So this product does exactly what it says on the tin. It displays photos, you can adjust the timing of it and you can also play videos and you could play that on the loop if you go to the video page as well. So I guess even though you're not that techy, you can actually use it and it's yeah it's very easy to use and um, I, I like this product actually and um, I think probably I will end up pass this on to my parents and share our newborn daughters uh, photos and etc and I think they're gonna love it so I'm really looking forward to it and one thing I do want to find out uh, in a longer term probably I'll make another video out of it is whether if I record something on my house and when I actually send it across the, the video to this device wirelessly remote to where I live would that actually be shown to that other place 
uh, either a photo or a video clip. That's something I need to find out. But yeah, I mean, I guess one of the target audience will be um, very family based, even people who are elderly age. All they need to do is just need to press certain uh, typical buttons, easy button to press, and they'll be able to see all these photos of family events and etc. So, uh, well done, Dragon Touch. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. All the best. Bye bye.